Hey YouTube, it's Dan here, and uh, today I wanted to give you guys a list of my favorite things to do on iOS 5. And when your iPhone is jailbroken, there are so many more things you can do. Now, I'm going to show you guys how to really customize your phone, so let's jump right into this. So the first thing I wanted to show you guys was themes. Now, themes is a pretty big part of the whole jailbreak experience. When everybody gets their phone, they really want to jailbreak their device, and they really want to you know, be able to customize it to its full potential and they want to have themes and things like that. So I'm going to show you guys uh, the, one of the themes that I actually use. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go into Cydia and download Winterboard. After you do that, you're going to want to go back in there and select a theme that you want to download. Now, one of my personal favorite themes is one called Illuminato. And uh, this one is just really cool. It has so many different uh, icons and things like that. I'm going to show you that theme right now. So what you want to do is you're going to go open to uh, Winterboard, select themes, and then I'm going to select Illuminato, uh, go back to Winterboard and hit Respring. Now this is going to respring your device and show you how the theme actually looks. Alright, and you can already see that on the bottom of the unlock is changed to Apple iPhone. So you can still unlock it. Look at this theme. It's, it's, pretty, it's pretty good. It changed almost every single icon on my screen except for maybe two, two or three. It is a beautiful theme and I really like it. Well, the next thing I want to show you guys is Tweaks. And Tweaks allows you to customize things in the notification center and the overall performance of your device. Now, one of my favorite tweaks is SB settings. And what this allows you to do is allows you to um, really control your phone and things like that. It can allow you to turn off your, your 3G, turn it into airplane mode. It'll tell you your Wi-Fi IP address, your data IP address. Um, it'll allow you to clear the RAM on your phone to make it a little bit quicker. Um, it really allows you to control most of the device. It allows you to respring and things like that. Now, this is also in the notification center. If you just drag this down. And it's uh, right here inside of notification center. Right there. And uh, it basically allows you to do the same thing. You can scroll. And uh, you can actually see the other things it allows you to do. Now, the other thing I really want to show you guys is something called speed intensifier. And what this allows you to do is to speed up your phone um, from the, the transitions and things like that. Now I'm going to show you guys where this is at. You can download all of these in Cydia. Um, so just go to your settings. Scroll down. And there's speed intensifier. And uh, you can select your current speed and how fast you want it. I left mine at 5. But uh, I'm going to show you guys what it looks like on 8. And I want us to respring our device, so I'm going to respring my device. And I'm going to unlock the device. And you can actually see how fast it is. Let's see if I uh, open up this application. It opens and closes things very quickly. Uh, I can open up Winterboard, and it opens up very quickly. Um, it just speeds up your total device and uh, transitions on your device. So the next thing I want to show you guys is something called Super Music. It's another tweak and what you do is from your lock screen you double press and it lets you control your entire music library right from your iPhone's lock screen. So you can select the actual song and everything like that. And if you want to you can actually open up right to the iPod. Alright, another tweak I want to show you guys is something called Fire Break. And now what Fire Break basically allows you to do is take panoramic shots with your iPhone's camera. Um, I'm going to add in a picture of it right now and uh, show you what it looks like. It's a little difficult to use, but uh, it's, it's helpful. I mean, if you really want to take panoramic photos, it's a great way to do it. Now, another one I'm going to show you guys is called InfiniFolder. And what InfiniFolder allows you to do is allow you to have as many applications as you want in any folder on the iPhone. So how you see how we have these folders here? And what this allows you to do is put as many icons or as many applications into the folder as possible. And uh, people who make Infinite Folder also make Infinite Dock and things like that. So if you want to check out those, those are also some really good tweaks. Another one that I want to show you guys is called Barrel. And what Barrel allows you to do is allows you to, when you move your screen, it has this effect to it. Now all these can be edited inside of the settings. So you go to settings, go down to Barrel, and there's just different effects that you can have. Now I can do uh, curl and scroll away, or roll away, and uh, that's what it does right there. But there are so many different effects and uh, so many different things you can do with the entire barrel application, um, the things that they have done for it, and they are always updating it. It's a great application or 
great tweak. So let's jump into uh, the next category, and that is applications. Alright, and another one of the applications that I really like that you can get from jailbreaking is called Spire. And what Spire is, is Siri ported to your iPhone. Now you have to have a proxy to be able to connect. And there is somebody on YouTube and uh, on Twitter who, the person who actually developed this application, is um, has a proxy out and it's been really hard to connect to because the servers have been filled. But um, we're going to give it a try right here. So just hold down the home button. So this is the uh, message I've been getting because I cannot connect to the host. And um, so I've been getting this message constantly. I have not been able to connect to the proxy yet. But uh, as soon as I am able to connect, I will make a video showing you guys um, how to get this. All right, another application that I want to show you guys is called Byte SMS. And uh, what Byte SMS is, is another text messaging client that allows you to do so many sweet things. Um, one of the major features that I actually like from Byte SMS is the fact that you can just press the volume rocker button, tap on the screen, and you can text right from your lock screen. That is a beautiful feature of Byte SMS. Another thing is when somebody texts you, you can get the message right away and it will pop up the same exact way. And Either you can do a quick reply or you can close it and open it up in the application. Uh, that's one of the major features I like of it. Alright, and uh, one of the last applications that I really, really like out of the entire Cydia customization is Psy Delete. And now what Psy Delete allows you to do is to delete um, Cydia applications right from your lock screen like you would with any regular Apple application. So we're going to go over here, hold down the button, and you could just press delete right there. Now I don't want to delete it because I actually do enjoy these applications that I have installed. One of the last applications that I would love to show you guys is called MyY 5.0. And uh, this has not been released yet by the developer of the application. And uh, what this app allows you to do is it allows you to use your iPhone's internet connection or your iPad's connection and share the internet off of it and use it to your, uh, your iPad or to your Mac or to another computer via Bluetooth, via USB, and it'll just actually create an actual Wi-Fi network. So it's actually a really neat application. That is probably my favorite out of all of them because I do a lot of traveling in the summer and um, that helps a lot when I'm in the car for long car rides and I actually just don't want to look at my three inch screen and be able to go on my MacBook and be able to view entire web pages. So that is my last application, and that completes my Cydia customization video. Um, comment, rate, and subscribe. Tell me how you like this video. I plan on making a few more of these after I you know, keep looking through the App Store and see if anything else cool comes out for iOS 5. So uh, comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you guys.